Hallelujah to Jesus. We give God a praise. Let God be magnified forever in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Amen. Hallelujah. Glory to Jesus. This is God's own channel with Evangelist Sarah. You are welcome. The Lord bless you. The Lord bless every member of this household. It is well with you, Jesus. Love you. And I love you. Please, family, like this video, share, subscribe. Tell somebody about this ministry. God bless you as you do that. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ, amen. Hallelujah. Glory to Jesus. Child of God, flow with it. This is just a prophetic and encouragement message for someone. You see that little dream of yours that make people get jealous whenever you operate in it. You see that, that dream that you call it you that make people furious whenever you want to build it. You see that dream that you call lead you, that people, whenever you want to work it out, the enemy is attacking it. God help me to tell you, say, flow with it. He said, flow with it. No matter how little the light seems, seems, let it shine. Hallelujah. Let it shine. Let the light shine. Let it shine. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. You know you are like the dream is too little. Nobody will appreciate this. Because it's not as big as what the world is interested in. Oh, the idea is too little. How do I bring it to light? It is not as heavy as, uh, as the dream that people are interested in. But you find out that whenever you want to like... Build a dream. There is always an attack on that dream. God is speaking to somebody. I don't know who you are, but I feel this message so heavily in my spirit to tell you that that light is not lit you. If it were so lit you and it was not important, they would not have come for it. If that light was not important, they would not have come for it. If the dream was not really, you know, important. They will not have come for you. They will not have, rather, they will not have come for that dream. The reason why they are attacking the dream, attacking the light, attacking, you know, your, 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 whatever you want to build, it is because they see that it is a light that is shining. Hallelujah. <laughs> Glory to Jesus. You have to dream more. Dream more. Dream more. And work on the dream more. On how the dream will come to reality. Dream more, child of God. Dream more, child of God. As you are dreaming, they are attacking it. Keep dreaming. Don't just dream. Walk it out. Let's become, let it become a manifestation that we all might grow together. Hallelujah. There is no one that should be left behind. That should be left behind. In this journey that God has given to us as believers, none of us should be left behind. Hallelujah. Glory to Jesus. When you find it that that dream, it is something that has become a target. When you find it that, oh, the dream, oh, the dream that you had about your life, about your future has become something that the enemy is attacking every time. You have found your purpose in life. That is God. That is to say that God has shown you your purpose in life. Now all you need to do is to flow with it. No matter the attack on that dream. Hallelujah. No matter the attack on that light. The Bible said, let your light so shine. Let it so shine, you know. Let it shine so, so bright. He said that men will see. And come and give glory and come and worship your father, which is in heaven. Hallelujah. Glory to Jesus. When men see the light, when men see the light in your dream, when men see the light in your life, they will have no choice than to, than to acknowledge God in your life. So if the dream is being fought, it is because the devil don't want anyone to acknowledge God in your life. They don't want anyone to give God glory through your life. You know, through the marvelous deed of God in the life of a man, 
that marvelous deed can also draw others to the light of God. Hallelujah. Glory to Jesus. A house was not built in a day. If you had a dream that, oh, you imagine you have dreamt about it, how God is going to give you your own place. You know, when I mean your own place in life, everyone have their own place. Everyone have their own place. Hallelujah. Let me give you an instant. There is somebody you are like, you are having a dream of God, having your own home where you can have guidance, where you can have flowers, where you can have vegetables. You are having that dream. You are having that dream. But whenever you want to walk towards even buying the land, even buying the land, they come and they attack your finances. Do you understand what I'm talking about? When you put in investment, you are like, because I want to build my house. I want to build a home for myself because I want to change that narrative in my family that people don't build a house. You tell yourself, I want to build a house and I want a house that have a guiding. What do you do? That is a dream, a very beautiful dream. Because that is one of the beautiful vanity that God has blessed us with. Because he wants us to serve, us, to serve him in abundance. The Bible said the earth is the Lord and the fullness thereof. Our God is not a poor God. Yes, our God is not a poor God. Hallelujah. Glory to Jesus. Glory up our Father. And this God is not a poor God. So he can give weight to us. He can give rest to us. He can give peace to us. He can give everything. All we need to do is just to seek him first. You understand? Which through the help of the Holy Spirit, many of many believers are doing right now. Yes, seeking God for serving God even when it does not make sense to people. Walking in line in the will of God even if it does not make sense to people. Because when you are serving the Lord, sometimes it does not really make sense to anyone. Because they cannot even understand that relationship that you have with God. It is something that men cannot define. It is something that men cannot define. Hallelujah. <laughs> Glory to Jesus. When you have that dream that, oh, I want to be an estate manager. I want to have my own home. I want to do this. I want to do that. You flow with it. You keep planning. You keep investing. Even if the enemy is attacking the investment, keep investing. Yes, they are attacking your growth. Keep building. That is the spirit. Because they know that through that dream, that you have found that through the purpose that you have found out what is life. What is life without a dream, without a purpose? What is, li what is life without God? It is a wasted life. Hallelujah. A life with God has results. As you have life with God, you expect results. As you have life with God, you dream big. You operate in divine purposes and you flow in that dream that you have found and you manifest it and it manifested by the help of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Amen. And the church will say amen. Hallelujah. Because you will flow with that dream. You will manifest in your dream. Hallelujah. It does not matter how many attacks are against that dream. God is saying to somebody, you will manifest in your dream. You will manifest in your dream. As you are manifesting, even if they are attacking your dream, keep drinking, keep, keep dreaming big. Keep dreaming big. Keep dreaming big. You don't serve a lesser God. You serve a big God that can do big things. You don't serve a small God. You serve a mighty God that can do mighty things. You don't serve a failed God. You serve a, a wonderful God that can do wonderful things. So keep walking, keep flowing in your dream. You will see wonderful things manifesting in your life. For God is able to use your life. So set an example for everyone to see that he's God. I need you to understand that dream that you find by yourself. That dream that you had. Provokes the kingdom of darkness. That is why they want to attack it because they don't want your light to shine. 
before me, but your light will shine because the Bible says, Ye are the light of this earth. Ye are the salt of this earth. You cannot lose the taste. The salt cannot lose the taste. So therefore, you will be fulfilled. It is well with you, Jesus. Love you. And I love you with the love of Christ. And remain your sister, Evangelist Sarah, by the grace of God. I will see you again. Bye-bye.